What is a permanent ceramic coating and what does the entire process look like? How much does it cost and why is it so darn expensive? That's what we're going to go over today. Last December, Chris and I had the fun opportunity to partner with Master Applied Coatings, a division of Vinnie's North Bay. There is a lot to go over. This video is gonna be very informative, educational, and hopefully very entertaining. And so we're gonna cover the entire process. Chris and I left California two days after Thanksgiving and drove straight to Tallahassee, Florida. And I mean straight, like 500 miles towing, four days every day. Chris did an amazing job and she towed, as usual, like a boss. Master Applied Coatings opened their Tallahassee location in 2021. Many of you have heard of Vinny from Vinny's North Bay where he's made a pretty impressive reputation doing all things Airstream on the West Coast. It was there in his Sacramento location that Master Applied Coatings was born to protect those beautiful silver Twinkies, AKA Airstreams. Although those Airstreams are beautiful, they have been plagued by corrosion and they set out to offer this permanent solution to not only protect it completely from all the outside elements, but also make it eternally look shiny. They've since expanded their market over here in Florida and are applying this permanent ceramic coating to basically any kind of vehicle, including all RVs. So I wanna go through the exact steps of this process and show you exactly why this is such a time consuming ordeal. And at the end, we're gonna go over the frequently asked questions that you might have and try to answer all of those. First, I wanna play this quick clip of this interview I did with Briston Lowell, the manager at the location there in Tallahassee. He first started out at Vinny's shop over in the West Coast, and he has since been promoted to a partner and the manager of the location over here in Florida. Briston was a really great guy, fun to work with, and he'll give a quick overview of the entire ceramic process. My name is Briston Lowell. I'm one of the shareholders of Master Applied Coatings. We specialize in a permanent ceramic coating. Our locations are in Tallahassee, Florida and Sacramento, California. We mostly started out in Airstreams and we've moved more into fifth wheels and class A RVs. Now we're getting more into like boats and you know motorcycles and pretty much all kinds of vehicles. Ceramic coating is, it's a newer thing in the RV world. It has a lot of UV resistance. It has a 9H hardness on the Mohs scale, so it's harder to actually scratch itself. A lot of things don't actually stick to it. It's very hydrophobic, so it repels a lot of the water too. You don't have to wax your trailer anymore. What makes our coating different than others? So it's all in the, the chemistry of it. The way that it actually bonds to the clear coat is different. You know, it's the reason we can call it permanent. We're the first ever permanent ceramic coating on the market. So it's a proprietary blend. We've worked with the manufacturer on creating a, a blend that will be a permanent blend and it's all made here in the USA. If there's ever any type of change. So like our move from California to Florida was a huge change in humidity. And you know, with everything being in America, we're able to communicate with our chemists and change it within a week. If we need something a little bit switched to evolve to environment, then we can get it done. So the steps of the ceramic coating are, first we, we wash the trailer. So you don't have to get it washed in advance, you can have it as filthy as you want. And then the next step would be paint correction step. So we would then do a polishing to get out minor scratches and minor scuffs and things like that to your entire RV. After that, we would then do a decontamination slash sterilization where we use an IPA solution to then sterilize your entire trailer so that it's ready for the next step, which is then applying our ceramic coating to it and making sure it can bond properly. We like to think ours is you know, beyond ceramic. So whereas another company might last five years, as long as you maintain it well, Ours, we say permanent, just because of the chemistry between our ceramic and the clear coat itself. Okay, let's dig into this process a little bit deeper and we're gonna first go over one of the biggest questions that we had during this process and it actually almost made us not be able to do it, which is where do you stay when your RV is getting ceramic coated. Now this might be easier for some than others, but since we live in ours full time, it was kind of tricky. Chris and I have been full time RVing since 2019, and we've basically never left our RV for this amount of time. Well, we made it into the Airbnb. It is, 
<laughs> it's a small space, and it's an old space. It but reminds Chris of her old dorm room. It totally reminds me of the college I went to in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. We had these college houses. You know, everybody runs these cheap houses as college kid as college kids. And this definitely makes me feel like a college house that I once lived in. Since we have two dogs, needed access to a full kitchen, and had to be within biking distance of their shop, our best bet was to get an Airbnb. There are literally hundreds of options, and we ended up finding an affordable one about two miles away. Also, there are a couple campgrounds around the area that you can stay at the night before, and that way you could come in first thing in the morning for your appointment. So let's go over these steps a little bit more in detail. Obviously the vehicle needs to be cleaned. So it's nice you don't have to worry about this, especially if you're driving from a distance. So first thing, Briston and his right-hand man, Ray, washed the entire RV and truck. Ours were pretty dirty, even though our RV was only seven months old, but we've been full-timing it out in the wild, out in the elements, so it definitely had a bit of grime on it. And those of you that have been following us for a while, you know that we bought our truck back in 2021, and we even spent about six months living in it full time on a rooftop tent in the mountains of Colorado. So that thing has definitely seen some hard times and I was excited for its transformation. So once everything was cleaned up with microfiber brushes, they then had to let the RV dry pretty much completely before they could start the next steps. And now this next step might be the most time consuming and where a lot of the labor cost comes into play. This is the polishing, the buffing, and the paint correction. And I don't know how, but over the past three years of full timing with our truck, we managed to basically micro scratch the entire thing. It probably comes down to improper washing, washing in a hurry, maybe it's even how I dried it. Or it might even be just the many, many months that we've spent out in the dirt and the sand, the desert, and in all the elements. So our RV paint is in really good shape. As you can imagine, it's only a few months old, but just the sheer size of these RVs, you can imagine how long this takes to buff and polish these things out. And even new vehicles need to have a light polishing on them, uh, even just to get rid of some of those scratches. Um, thankfully, ours was in really good shape. But sometimes the paint isn't in such good shape like our truck, so we had to go over multiple times, multiple stages, different pads, different cutting compounds to really, really try to get out as many of those scratches as they could. But what about all those pinstripes we picked up in California out boondocking? Yeah, those were pretty bad and I was worried about them. But Briston did a great job buffing, polishing, and just wait till you see the ceramic coating applied over them. And you might think we're ready for the ceramic coating at this point, but no. In order for there to be a really good bond with the ceramic and your clear coat, it needs to be perfectly clean, degreased, and sterilized. So they have to go back over the entire RV and vehicle with a degreaser and an isopropyl alcohol mix to really make sure it's spotless and completely decontaminated. Then at this point, we're ready for the ceramic coating. Now, because they have a proprietary blend and it requires a special application, they didn't really want me to show too much of this part. They have a very unique formula that they created here in the US, and according to them, it is a completely permanent ceramic coating. The buffing got out the majority of the scratches here, but there was still a couple left, and I was blown away by the way the ceramic actually filled in those scratches. You basically can't see any of the scratches that we got. And if you've looked into ceramic coatings before, you've probably come across a wide variety. Some that might last a couple weeks, all the way up to many, many years. But Vinny and his team have created something very special here, and I'm really excited to see how it holds up. They say it's used in military applications and even in the rotors of helicopters to help protect the, from the sand over in the Middle East. It all sounds pretty amazing, and as you can see here, it turned out really great. The deepness of the shine and the slickness of the ceramic coating is nothing short of amazing. Okay, FAQs, let's get into them. I'm gonna start with the big one, the one that probably everyone is asking, how much does this cost? And again, there are many grades of ceramic and quality of prep and application, so I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This one here is gonna be on the higher end because of that. So it can really vary depending on length and the amount of labor, but roughly you can expect a shorter RV around 25 feet to be roughly around the $4,000 mark. 
And then the big monster RVs that are 45 to 50 feet long can be upwards of $8,000. Those are gonna be your giant toy haulers, your class A's, and the big buses. Now they will also give you a discount on your tow or towed vehicle if you get it done at the same time. How long does the process take? Well, it can take up to five days, but Briston and his team are working at streamlining and trying to shorten that process a bit, and they'd really love to get it down closer to that three-day mark. Does the ceramic coating only work on paint? No, you don't need a full body paint RV to have this work for you. It can be applied to fiberglass and vinyl graphic RVs, of course, Airstreams, and even things like Oliver's and Bigfoot's, Casitas, trailers like that. And really, the ceramic coating is gonna protect any of those surfaces from fading, corroding, degrading, and it can even be applied to wheels, glass, plastics, and yes, even solar panels. More on that perhaps on another video. What is the maintenance of ceramic coating? Well, not much on this ceramic coating. You don't need to go back for yearly reapplications like some other coatings. You don't need special shampoos or chemicals for the upkeep. You really just need to wash it with regular car wash soap. And you just wanna make sure you're not getting the soap with extra things in it like sealants or waxes because it won't stick to the ceramic and you don't ever need to wax your truck RV again. You know, I've been quoted $350 to $500 for someone to come out and hand wax our RV. And waxes really only last a couple of months. They actually say you should wax your vehicle every three to four months. Could you imagine waxing your RV by hand three to four times a year? I personally don't think I could do it. Just washing it takes uh, so much time and I just don't think I could do it. So I know ceramic is expensive, but waxing adds up over time. And I don't know if this is the best analogy or not, but it kind of reminded me of lithium batteries. They have a big upfront cost, but because of the benefits and added value over lead acid batteries, in my opinion, it's worth it. Do you still have to wash your RV? So this one's kind of an interesting one. The short answer is yes, you still have to wash your RV, but it's way faster and way easier because of the coating. I've actually invested in a mini pressure washer, foam cannon, and leaf blower to dry it. Something I was curious about testing is how clean does it come without actually washing it with a microfiber brush? You know, just hitting it with a pressure washer and maybe the soap foam cannon if I can, but at a lot of RV parks, you are not allowed to wash your RV. But you can sometimes get away with just rinsing it, especially if you are in areas near the ocean. It's really important to rinse everything down and get that sea spray off of your stuff. And I'm really happy to find out that it probably comes 80 to 90% clean with just spraying it. And it's actually rained so much here in Florida that the RV and the truck are almost completely clean all the time. So we get a lot of bugs on our front cap basically every time you move your RV. And the first rain took off a lot of them, but there were still some big splots that you could see. And it rained really hard a couple few more times. And by like the end of the week, you could almost not see any bugs on your cap. It's pretty amazing how clean your stuff comes with just water. But to be fair, you still do need some type of physical agitation to get those really stubborn uh, bugs, bird droppings, maybe tree sap. I know the brake dust on my wheels does not come off with just water, but it's pretty amazing. It literally just wipes clean with a finger. It's, it's so slick and so smooth that with just a little bit of agitation, stuff comes super, super clean. And when you are done actually washing it, the shine is crazy. It's like you get to skip over the waxing part of it. You just wash it quickly and it's like freshly waxed. It's, it's really amazing. It's, it's so hard to explain until you actually have it done on one of your vehicles. It's, some could say it's life-changing. And at the very least, it is amazing. How long will ceramic last? As I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of different types of ceramic coatings. Some might only last a few weeks, others many years. 
but the proprietary formula that Master Applied Coatings is using is meant to be a permanent coating, one that will last the lifetime of the vehicle. And really, it basically needs to be sanded to be removed. It is a very, very, very permanent bond. Now, of course, I can't personally attest to this lifetime longevity yet, but so far, I am really, really excited to see how well it's holding up and just after months of rain and travel and thousands of miles, it just literally looks new all the time. Who is Master Applied Coatings, a division of Vinny's North Bay? While I don't know Vinny personally, we do have good friends that are customers of him that can attest to his sincerity, integrity, and honesty in the business and the quality that he does. <laughs> Maybe the second time, it's gonna be it's better. Gonna be better. <laughs> Hi, we're Molly and Chuck. We're full-time Airstreamers. We've been doing this for uh, over six years. We're in our, currently in our seventh year. Uh, still having a good time, so no plans to quit at this point. So we've loved the rig. We're very happy with it. And, and part of loving it, of course, is like we think, ooh, this would be fun or that would be fun or we hear about something. And we did hear about this ceramic coating. The opportunity to have that protect the aluminum plus um, make it easier to care for. It's so much easier to wash and make it look good opposed to having to wash it, dry it, and then wax it. It's a labor of love and you know, I enjoy doing that but not as much as I used to. <laughs> so we had it done at Vinny's in his Sacramento shop. Top notch. Yeah, Vinny, Vinny's a prince. Uh, everybody who deals with him, you know, raves about him uh, uniformly. I haven't heard one bad comment other than he can be difficult to get into. You know, our experience with his technicians has been top notch. They're really trained well and responsible and it's, it's amazing. They meet all their deadlines. You know, if they tell you it'll be done at a certain time, it is. And if you're big fans of channels like Long Long Honeymoon or Keep Your Daydream, you can see on their videos just the type of guy that Vinny is and the relationship that they've formed with him. And the reason I bring this up is because I don't think somebody that has that type of integrity in the RV community, which is a small community, is gonna come out and just have these claims of a product if it doesn't truly hold up to them. But I can definitely attest to my time hanging out with Briston and his team at the Tallahassee, Florida location. You can definitely tell that they have a passion and a genuine care about their craft that they're doing. And it was just overall a really great experience. Now, obviously this isn't a long-term review, but I do wanna give my initial thoughts on this process since we got it done about two months ago. First off, I really started looking into ceramic coating when we first bought our brand new truck in 2021. I was really looking for that extra protection for it, but I was quickly overwhelmed with all the different types of offerings and the range of pricing. I mean, they literally have ceramic sprays from like $20 all the way up to professional coatings. And I really ended up doing nothing because I had the paralysis of analysis and I just didn't know which way to go. We just spent a lot of money on the brand new truck and I just ended up not doing anything. And I kind of regret it. So now I'm kind of leaning more towards that camp where it's a really good idea to get this done when you have a brand new vehicle. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it on an older vehicle. And when I saw my truck, my three-year-old full-time lived-in truck come out of that shop, it was absolutely amazing. It really honestly looked like a brand new truck. And since our RV was basically brand new, it wasn't as dramatic of a transformation. But knowing now that our RV is always gonna be shiny, clean, and protected is a great peace of mind. And an interesting note now that our RV is always shiny is the different colors reflect differently. So your light colors are less reflective like your white, and then the medium gray is a little bit more reflective, and the darks like the black are that super mirror-like reflection. So I'm guessing that's kind of why the black vehicles are super, super beautiful and clean and shiny when they're new, but they get dirty really quick and they show a lot of dirt and scratches and things like that. So I think ceramic coating on a black vehicle is gonna be pretty amazing. 
So overall, the experience was absolutely amazing. And it's, it is one of these ones that's kind of hard to explain and show on video, I think. It's, it's really is something quite unique to have your vehicle ceramic coated. And I think the best way to describe it is you now have a vehicle that almost always looks clean and shiny and that you know is protected from the elements for a very long time to come. And if you want to learn more about master applied coatings, you can reach out to Briston on their website form or call if you want to, and then he can go over the exact details for your RV. If you have questions for me, I'll do my best to answer those in the comments down below. I'm excited to share more updates in the future, and I appreciate everyone watching.